Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install a JTAG mod on your Xbox 360. Um, this is quite a complex mod in some places, so I'd advise you only to actually look into this if you've uh, got reasonably good soldering skills. Um, now, the JTAG mod itself is essentially a modification to your 360 which will allow you to run and sign code. That is mod games, alternate dashboards, homebrew emulators, you know, the whole lot from Xbox One. Um, now, as you can see here, I'm using an old Xbox 360 from 2005. It has got a broken DVD drive. Uh, it's also missing its DVD key. But it does have an old Xenon motherboard, and uh, it is in relatively good condition. Never had a red ring of death or anything like that. So I figured it's ideal to mod, get the DVD key, and replace the DVD drive. Uh, so like I said, uh, with that caution, let's get going. Alright, so first thing you gotta do is to open up this casing. Uh, we can start by doing this by removing the front cover, like so, and then removing the side panels. So, if they're loose, you can just pull them off, but if not, just carefully uh, find the notches along the, uh, the grill here and plug them out. It's more advisable to use the tool for this, but uh, yeah, like I said, if they're loose enough, then you can probably just pull them off. Bearing in mind that you may damage the uh, hinges, or rather, clamps, if you're not careful. There we go. So next we're going to remove the actual casing itself. So we'll just uh, unhinge the front, little uh, bars on the front, and hinge those. And uh, we've got the front open there. So we'll rest it forward like that. And the back you'll find uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, eight holes. I'll I'll put out the um, instructions or rather diagrams in the description, but. You just push, put some pressure on these and detach them all. And there we go. Still have the casing. Put that aside. And now we have our uh, 360 ready to be continued to work on. So let's remove this. And now we need to remove the top of the casing here. I probably should have pointed out at the beginning, you're going to need a few screwdrivers. This for one, a simple uh, flathead. And uh, it would help if you had a interchangeable screwdriver, preferably with torque size 10 and 20, sorry, that's torque size 8 and 10 sized heads. Uh, but for now, I'll just use my Torx uh, 10. Um, you're going to remove the following screws. That's already gone. As I said before, I will leave the instructions for this in the side description. I've still got to finish off my Xbox One tutorial. I haven't been able to upload the second part of that yet with the solder points. I have to get right on that as soon as possible. So there we go. And now we can just lift the top layer off, put that aside, and we're left with the 360 itself. So remove the DVD drive, disconnect it very carefully. Take out all of the cables. So now you're going to need to take your torque size 10 bit, like so, and we will remove the uh, motherboard. So I'm going to underscrew everything, but there are a few necessities. Uh, here, 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 here. So let's get going. All right. So once we've got all that removed, um, you'll notice here we've got a panel in the front. Um, and there are two screws at the front of this panel 
and there is one screw underneath this uh, white panel at the top. So, assuming you've already removed your heatsink screws, which I'm not sure if I showed or not, because the video cut out and I wasn't aware of it, uh, but before we can take the motherboard out, we need to do two things, well, three things, rather. First off, we need to remove this heatsink cover. You'll notice that little uh, notch in at the top, which we can just use to leverage the thing out. Put that aside. And uh, on the front, you've got two screws there. You use your Torx 8 to remove those two. And then you pop the white box off. Put that aside. And you've got your final screw underneath that, Torx 8 also. So then, once you've got all those removed, just pull the panel off. And lay that aside. And now we can essentially pull the motherboard out. Well, after we just connect our uh, fan connector here. So carefully, very carefully, pull that cord out. And we'll lay the case aside for a moment. So now we have our motherboard, which must now be uh, JTAG, essentially. Um, in the next part of this video, I'm going to show you exactly where you need to solder and uh, some very basic soldering techniques which can be used to accomplish this. So thanks for watching, I'll see you then.